Should have put two Fs on it. I was gonna say. To give f- f- <laughs> <laughs> No. Yep. <laughs> we are not starting that today. Why not? Uh, because it's Friday. Jeff. Oh, no. Dunham. <laughs> he really needs to sponsor this show. <laughs> <clears throat> if you hadn't noticed there, Lois, your, your head's a little cut off. There you go. Yeah, because you haven't changed the uh, camera. Mm. No, actually, I, I zoomed it in a little bit last night because oh. it was having some issues seeing above the monitor. Oh, okay. So I zoomed well, it in some, which means it gets less of us. Mm-hmm. But it gets up closer to our faces. Yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tried fixing the hair this morning. It's not, not happening. happening. No. no. Not you got happening. little floops going. <laughs> you, you left faced. Uh, no, I didn't. Someone is in here as you. I did not laugh face. Well, apparently something happened. I don't know. <laughs> That's some craziness. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Renee says, Dunham. Cut come. Ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's better than, what was it? I got stuck in your uh, head Oh, last no. Time? We're not even going there. We are not going there. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> <coughs> oh, goodness gracious. So, good morning, guys. Thank you for joining us for the morning cup. Yes, good morning, and thank you. Yes, we, we do appreciate you guys joining us here, and thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing. Yes. Because it, it actually does help. It does. It really does. Yeah, it does. So, did, did we do anything yesterday other than run around <laughs> trying to put out fires and some, some stuff like that? Um, I, I tried to get homework done. <laughs> well, you did manage to get your homework done. And yeah, she had homework. Yeah, eleventh hour, literally. <laughs> yeah, she tried to get some homework done that was due yesterday instead of normally like Sunday. Yeah, that's always exciting. Mm. So yeah, yeah no, not really. Mm-mm. No, mm-hmm. not not really. But Pretty at least much. it got done. Yeah. Um, and uh, Gina says uh, it happens quite often. The laugh faces all by themselves. Really? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I wonder. You know what? It's kind of like you. How you get broken? Maybe Facebook got broken. <laughs> It thought it was so funny, it laughed for you. <laughs> yeah, no. I forgot to pull up the... Uh, I, I was noticing that. <laughs> I forgot to pull up the chat channel thingamajigger. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see if it functions uh, today, shall we? Goodness gracious. So, uh, we, we do have a little bit of news here today. Yes, we do. Yeah, guess what else is now available? Really? Yeah. You didn't let me know this morning. <laughs> you were too busy sneezing. Oh, that is true. I'm hey, sitting in here I'm getting ready. Now. <laughs> I'm sitting in here getting ready for the morning show, and, and what do I hear coming from across the house? Hachoo! 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 I'm like, you didn't even eat breakfast. You're not full. What is going on? <laughs> Stop it with this. Knee. At least it wasn't during the morning show last time. This is true, and and there's just something with my sinus. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. Because it got worse. Your stuff is just broken. That's what it is. It is, it is. All right, so, as everyone here should know, and if you don't, well, now you do, uh, we have Elpian in the shirt available. Yes. And uh, that's, uh, you know, we're doing the whole space ball theme kind of thing with that. That's why it's called Elpian in the shirt, if you were wondering. And, uh, well, those are the normal T-shirts, and those are nineteen ninety nine. We make five dollars off of those, so uh, you know it helps support the station. We've sold three, Woo-hoo! so if thank you guys, you. yes, definitely, thank you. If you guys want some, make sure you you go over to Amazon and pick them up. But we also now have available LPNN the premium shirt. See, and now I'm thinking about it. You probably I should have put you, premium. Yeah, in, yeah. you should have. <laughs> But this is actually what I wanted to do originally was on a, on the premium shirt, but I decided to go with the normal shirt first, right? Just to see how it turned out. <clears throat> but anyway, this is apparently a 
a better cut t-shirt. It fits better or something. I'm not sure. This one it's is... It's longer. Yeah, it, 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 it looks longer. It's well, yeah, deceiving, it just, though. It's just a picture. Uh, yeah. They don't have a ruler up there. Or nothing no, like that. they don't. So this is LPNN the premium shirt, which is still LPNN the shirt. It's just an, uh, apparently a nicer t-shirt. And it's twenty four ninety nine, and we get approximately $7 from each one of these that are purchased. <laughs> so uh, if you guys are interested, uh, well, go ahead and, uh, and check that out. Let's see what we have here. I'm going to go ahead and... And put a link up in the thingamajigger. Let's see. Oh, i got to do it over it here. Kind of, sort of. For those people over here on Facebook. There you go. Because we can't do it and on multi-platform. <clears throat> uh, I forgot how it, to do that. <laughs> no, once it kicks in oh, here, oh, now yeah, you there can it pin it. All right, so there see, it is. you gave up too soon. <laughs> it would be in the shot. So, so we'll leave that up there for a second so everybody can check it out. Uh, it does come in various colors. We have, uh, we have this uh, blue color. Shiny. It comes in the same colors as the other no, one. No, it right? doesn't. No? I think I, well, maybe. No, because there was a, I think there was a red in the other uh, one. Yes, there was a red in the other one. Uh, this is the, the Heather Bun or whatever. The colors are slightly different because the material, I guess, is different. I don't know. Uh, this one says it's a jersey fabric. I don't know what that means. Neither do I. <laughs> I, I am not a, a fashion person. So Heather Blue? Uh, oh, so I guess it's like a blue gray. Yeah, probably. Probably. And then, of course, for the ladies, we have the pink. <laughs> not just the ladies well whatever yeah. I'm just you know what it is. I mean you figure you're in the men's and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, I am really short today in this in this thing are you? Yeah. I am oh yeah you are uh, uh huh it's cause you're a midget I am not you are a midget no yes no yes oh no <laughs> yes <laughs> nope not my fault. You're jolly green. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So uh, we we had uh, we had some questions the other day. Apparently, some things weren't working. Uh, you can select your sizes right here. You can uh, female large, male large, male medium. It looks like. Well, it's because you're in the males. Yeah, I'm in the I'm in the men's side. Yes. So if you hit the select button, you can pick your size over here on this. I think it's coming. Yep, it is. You can pick your size and then add it to your cart. And then if you're on the women's side. You can do the same thing. You hit the select and female, large, small, medium, XL. Apparently, they don't. I, I don't know how. Apparently, women's sizes are different or something. I don't know. Uh, yes, because so. we have to be weird. And then you go over here. You add to cart, and and then off you go. And then the the sizing chart. For some reason, the link on on here for the size chart does not work. No, oh, <laughs> it's not but, available. So, but if you go over it's here, a thumbnail over here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, there's a thumbnail over, I don't, can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, over on this side, you click on the sizing chart, and it shows you the different sizes and all of that stuff. Uh, let's see, it doesn't even show the whole face, I'm not, hmm? I don't mm -hmm. know. Okay. So anyway, um, not that big of a deal, it's over there on the side, and uh, yeah. So anyway, yeah. that's how you do that. <clears throat> yeah, Gina's saying I'm getting cut off at the face. Oh, I got you. You know what? In, in, in so this... much complaining around here. Let oh, me see really? if I can't fix it. No, this. it's this transition because if you look at the other oh, one. Oh, is it? Yeah, if you look at the at the one that's waiting, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> so much complaining. That's oh, it. good oh, lord almighty. Hold on, hold on. I'll, <laughs> I'll fix you over here, Lois. Oh, why, thank you. There you go. <laughs> if only it was that easy. <laughs> <laughs> look, I made you taller. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> there it is. Yay. And now my head's in my shirt. Suit. Hey, there you are. <laughs> oh, goodness. So goodness. anyway, yes, uh, you know, grab that link, share it, spread it around, help support the news station. We do appreciate yes. it. <laughs> See, Gina's agreeing, right? What? Uh-huh. You're a midget. And no, I am not. Midget. No, I Every am time not. I get in the car, I, try, you know, I bang my knees into the dashboard when you have been driving. Tough nuggies. Because you're short. Yeah, Not my fault. Tiny. You're jolly green, and if we cut you in half, it'd be at your freaking hip bones. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <clears throat> That's where your true half is. That's where my true half is. <laughs> and Renee's saying Murphy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Gina says, thank you, I'm assuming, for uh, fixing your head. Yeah, probably, yes. <laughs> That way I don't look like a half a Muppet. <laughs> half a Muppet. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh-uh. We're not going there. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> nope, 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 n
Why not? Too much to do. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah, exciting stuff. Yes, exciting yep. stuff. <laughs> so you were mentioning earlier, oh, th this was the news. Never mind. <laughs> what? N nothing. What nothing. are you talking about? My brain is slowly catching up this morning. <laughs> Renee says she's taller than me. She's not a midget. <laughs> I don't know, man. Anybody shorter than me is now declared a midget. Uh, no. It is my decree. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are under six foot two, you are now a midget. Oh, good lord. What? So does that mean, like, my dad could call you a midget because he's six seven? Technically, I am a midget. I'm the run to the family. <laughs> we had this discussion already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Dave. He says, your abnormal size does not equate to everyone as a midget. <laughs> what was the average height for males born when you were? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I have no idea. I have to look it up. <laughs> See, and for me, the average height when I was born for females was, um, I think it was 5'6", five, 5'5". Five, five. The fact so that you I'm look this Amazon. up means you are, are concerned about it, which means you're a midget. No. We discussed this the other day. No, I am not concerned <laughs> about... If you were actually out there trying to figure out what the average size of people is or trying to stick half inches in there, you're a midget. I learned this in health class. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa's says, get him, Dave. <laughs> I Man. learned it in health class. I did not intentionally look this crap up. All right. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Great balls uh, of fire. Yeah. And we have a, a few things going on this weekend that we found out about last night. Oh, well, we didn't um, find out about it. We were reminded about uh, it. Though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did it, I did been, pull that up. It's around here somewhere. It, it, yeah, your last tab. Oh, is it that one? Yes, it is that one. No, okay. um, All right. <laughs> There we go. Oh, it's already transitioned over here for everybody. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, because I forgot the transition. Man, I'm, I'm on a roll today. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. Are you sure it's not Monday? Yeah, it feels like Monday. <laughs> tell you what. So this is the schedule of a... Oh, nope, maybe. maybe. Let's see. I'm, I'm working it, man. So last night we ran into a fan while we were at the store. Yes. And uh, he asked us if we were going to be covering this this weekend. Um, and what the answer is no. Excuse me. And what this is is the Lake Powell Challenge, which is a poker run. The poker Excuse run! Me. Yeah, uh, a boat poker run. Well, yes, everybody knows that lives in Page what it is. But those who don't no. may not. We have a worldwide audience. I know, I know. I forget sometimes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> oh, Renee says, for the record, if you are under 5'5", five five, you are considered a little people. <laughs> mm. Little people. Does that mean they're like hobbits? Oh, no. No? Oh, you got furry toes? Oh, goodness gracious. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. Uh, so, um, this is going on this weekend. Um, I'm going to try to find out how we can cover just a little bit of it. Uh, but it starts at 9 o'clock this morning. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, and that's uh, that starts over at Antelope Point, And they're heading out to Dangling Rope. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know from I think where they, I think they go further up Lake than that too. Uh, that yeah, I, I, up is just like... uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is this is the big thing going on this weekend, and um, we're gonna see if we can cover it. Yeah, I'm not I'm making not promises. Happy. We have more important stuff to do, unfortunately, <laughs> like figuring out how to pay the bills. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah, um, let's see. What else did we do yesterday besides? Besides this, scramble around trying to uh, accomplish something. It didn't work yes, out. felt like eggs. <laughs> huh? Scramble. Oh yes, yeah. scrambled eggs. Oh my goodness, you <laughs> are so not having. Oh no. <laughs> this is not a good day. Ev evidently. No. Um. Well, I did some. I I got the news together last night, and I ran across something. I actually have uh, a note to myself in in this for this morning. Oh. Um, and I told you about it, and you just shook your head. Uh, last night, I, I found found out some information about an event going on down in Phoenix. Um, didn't I have put no it, idea what we're talking about. I, I know you don't. <laughs> I'm like, huh? um, I, I didn't put it in the news because anything that you... I, I looked at their the company's terms of use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you have to be a member to be able to use their information. And they were the only ones who put it out. Oh. So, 
um, I, I, I found this information out. It's a really cool thing, but we can't use it because we're not members of these people. Okay. And when I went to their website, their website is very technical. It's engineered base. Oh, all of this yes, stuff. yes. And Google comes up, and I could read the words. You know, I knew what was going on. Google comes up and says, do you want me to translate this? Yeah, translate it from technical speak. <laughs> translate Excuse it from me. technical speak into English. Uh, yes, yes, which was... That's kind of funny. I was like, well, oh, wait, yeah. we did it. Now I remember so, you mentioning that. So yeah. Google was thinking it was a foreign language, even though it was English, but tech speak. Well, that's because, uh, <laughs> you know, nowadays, you know, the, the, the height of, of human English... Writing and stuff like that is mostly in short abbreviations, bad grammar, and misspellings to try and communicate ideas through texting. So anything that has more than, like, two syllables in it is apparently now a foreign language. Which is a little scary, Yeah, actually. a little bit. <laughs> Renee's saying you're broken today. Yeah. yeah just a little be. bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's one of those days. It, it is, it is. So um, I have a couple of things that may that well, may cheer you up and may shake may make you shake your head. I actually had something I wanted I wanted to okay. uh, to talk about here. Well, <clears throat> let's see. Let me let me let me do the thing. I keep looking down. Everyone doesn't know what's going on. Uh, yeah. Well, you haven't transitioned. Don't uh, I don't want to transition. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I should. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. So <clears throat> this came across my feed last night. Oh, are you? Oh, just, did it, did I'm just away. looking at the link name. At the headline, yeah? All right, so this is from the Wall Street Journal. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. So everybody knows how Facebook is, is, is trying to do whatever it is they're claiming to do. Like, we have to make things more honest. We have to make things so that you like them and so... Th wait, do it. No, the way that they like them so that you like them or whatever the hell it is that they're doing. We don't even know. They so, don't know. So what you're saying is Facebook keeps trying to justify why they become more of a PETA? Yeah, more of a yeah, PETA. <laughs> Pain in the beep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so here's the headline from the Wall Street Journal. Facebook is starting to fact check photos and videos. Because apparently... And, and, you know, this goes back to the European thing this is for, for the EU. The EU was actually talking about banning memes. Yes, it, it actually went to Parliament this week. Yeah. <laughs> so they're talking about banning memes. And so Facebook is now going to start fact-checking photos and videos. And it's not like what you would normally think. Like, um, you know, like, oh, well, maybe that's that's fake or something like that. I mean, how many times do you do memes or you change a photo up to have a good time because it makes you laugh and everything? Oh, you mean like this? I don't... What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to see a dog face. and Well, the dog can't be saying that, thank God, it's Friday. It's incapable of human speech. We're going to censor that. And the same thing with videos. They want to make sure that there's no uh, no subtexts or that you're saying something that may not be true. So comedy will now be dead on Facebook in both meme form and video. Wow. <coughs> and how are they going to accomplish this, you say? <clears throat> the almighty algorithm. Of course they are. They are going to try and fact check every photo and video that is on Facebook for validity. And they said, now we do realize that obviously not everything that's out there that has been altered is technically fake or fake news. So we're going to have a small human department that, that, you know, kind of verifies this. So what do you think the odds are that the algorithm works, I don't know, a billion times faster than the human department? Everything gets completely banned, censored in the whole nine yards. And, you know, perhaps in... Two to five years, hopefully when Facebook is dead, um, they actually unban your picture. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wow. The practice is, it's just like, what, the, what are you doing? Being idiots. Uh, Dave says, have you tried rebooting him, Lois? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, now there's no rebooting me today, I'll tell you <laughs> what. <laughs> I was about this close to pulling the plug on the morning show. Just saying. <laughs> Bad that close. Oh. No. Yep, we're getting so, there. Um. So yes. Uh, freaking Facebook. Yeah, pretty much. This. This. Okay. So this leads me into into um something that I I actually put in 
in, oh, in two okay. days. And I had a question. I I write notes in the stuff that I find. Um, scroll all the way down. It's S- the second one from the bottom. It's the bottom one. Oh, <laughs> I I wrote a note. Okay, so should I read that? It, yeah. Political. Don't know if you want to do this one on the morning show or not. Why not? <laughs> so so this this goes along with the whole Facebook um, changing up their algorithm and and whatnot or adding to their algorithm um, <laughs> to censor. And and find falsities. Oh boy! Oh man, these ads! I tell you, uh, yeah, they're retarded. They're, they're so effective. Dude, how many of you guys out there, when you have an ad pop up and block your entire view of something or start playing an obnoxiously loud ad, how many times do you click on that ad so that you can buy whatever obnoxious crap it is? Bupkis times. <laughs> so it must be amazingly effective. I saying? know, right? <laughs> Although it's got to be more effective than me posting links randomly. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so FDA declares youth vaping an epidemic, announces investigation and new enforcement. Yes. So for those of you that don't know what vaping is, it's uh, it's like an alternative to smoking. It can help you stop smoking. It, I mean, it's just, it's, there's another. <laughs> I got to transition this over. Look at this. Here's some advertising for you. Look at this. My whole freaking screen just got taken over by this. <laughs> AZ Central, get ready for fall. Only 99 cents per month. It, Screw you! <laughs> Who the fuck is going to pay for that? Bleep! I said bleep! <laughs> I do news. I don't charge for it. I try and still <laughs> sell stuff on the side and get businesses to sponsor us. <laughs> Who the heck is going to do that? You can get news free elsewhere. I mean, holy cow, it's completely blocked the entire view of everything. And you can't go any further with it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so anyway, for those of you that don't know what vaping is, you know, it's it's it, it's similar to smoking, but it's supposed to be possibly more healthy, but it may not be because there's no long-term studies, blah, 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 blah. But apparently now the FDA has declared youth vaping an epidemic. Now, they're not talking your normal... They are including your normal youth. Apparently, a lot of middle schoolers are catching on to this and starting this, um, and and high schoolers. But they're also talking college students. <sighs> okay, the, from what I remember, oh wait, I'm in college. Yeah. Um, the majority. Oh, you're a youth. Uh, yeah, I know, right? The majority <laughs> of college students mm-hmm. are 18 or over. <laughs> Just Usually. saying. Unless you're like um, Doogie Howser. Uh, and and one, of the, one of the things that, that got me in this article was they have a psychologist that they've interviewed. And, uh-huh. and I know as a kid, okay, kids are rebellious. Mm-hmm. You tell them that don't, mm-hmm. they're gonna. <laughs> Plain and simple. Yes. And, and that sort of transitions into other things in adults. But um, kids experiment. You have kids experimenting with the alcohol. You have kids experimenting with whatever. Mm-hmm. This psychologist said teenagers may have a um, mental health problem because they're experimenting with vaping. I tell you, who's got a freaking <laughs> mental health problem? <laughs> it was like, are you kidding me? So, so the FDA is trying to regulate this and eliminate all the flavors mm-hmm. um, for for the vaping, even for adults. Uh-huh. And they're trying to hold the um, juice manufacturers responsible and prove to the FDA that they're doing everything that they can to mitigate youth vaping. Right. So. <clears throat> I've got so many problems with this. Isn't that even funny? My favorite one, though, is this. And I went ahead and pulled it up just so I could verify. So they say it's an epidemic. <laughs> ah! Lois, can you read for us the definition of epidemic, please? <laughs> I really don't have to read it, but all well, right. Please, please A please widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. Is vaping an infectious disease? <laughs> ah! I'm just asking. Uh, no. And, you know, and the same thing goes with, you know, and whether you like it or not, I mean, obviously there's a problem, but they call it the opioid 
epidemic. Is that a disease? Uh, nope. Nope. You know, and, and so I guess you could go with the whole thing of, well, it's like it's like alcoholism or technically it's a disease or whatever. But either way, it's, it, the definition and, of it does not work with what they're saying. But everybody just kind of goes with it. Now, now uh, to counter that, though, Merriam-Webster, mm -hmm. okay, they have a secondary definition Which now. was added recently. Uh, yes. Because they keep using the word improperly, the dictionary has decided to go ahead and add it in. Y yes, and that is an outbreak or product of sudden rapid spread. Either way, it's it, it, it's not an outbreak. <laughs> it's called a fad. <laughs> I'm just no, saying. No, I don't even think it's called a fad. I think it's called kids being kids. <laughs> it's not a mental health thing. Yeah, I just it, it's no. it, it. This is the new thing, rather than cigarettes. But it makes it sound more more alarming, which is why they do it. It's not because it's actually what it is. It's because everyone's like, oh my god, it's like Ebola. I, no, no, actually, it's not. <laughs> um, and and the more the more you shine a light on it and make it a bad thing, the more people are going to do it. Why? Because you told them not to. Yeah, pretty much. That's how that I mean, works. It, it is. It really is. And and actually, I I I don't remember uh, what country it is. I think it's Thailand. Um, they actually proved that that is how it works. They legalized uh -huh. what we consider illicit drugs uh -huh. all of them and their drug abuse drug addiction over the last 10 15 years has pretty much become non-existent hmm. <laughs> well look at that <laughs> it's like prohibition so man you know, you ban it, guess what? You drove it underground, now there's a criminal enterprise, now people are getting killed, people are making lots of money, it becomes an underground industry, everything goes crazy, crime rates go through the roof. You legalize it? Okay, go back to the to the article. Because they there were a couple of uh, parents in here that, that uh, were quoted. Oh, there's... Um, there, uh, <laughs> there's Dave says, Chris, now you're here. going to cause them... To make up new diseases to fit the definition. <laughs> I don't know Excuse what the hell me. just happened. Um, okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> You're uh, stupid ad. <laughs> so really, you can't even navigate their site without <laughs> accidentally clicking on at least three ads simultaneously. Um, what am I looking oh, for scroll here? Scroll down. So this is this is one of the in, um, uh, parents. Okay. okay? And... Um, they're saying the parents that were interviewed are saying that they want the FDA to go further in their regulation. And yes, that's the solution. Let the government regulate. And it. this person is saying that her underage son was able to order vape, a vape and juice online by using his dad's name and credit card. And shipping it to another location. So how in the mother freaking bleepity <laughs> bleep is that the government's problem? Pull your head out of your bleep. And Watch so your kids. Why do they have access to your credit card? Why do they have access to the internet where they can order things online? And then when it came in the bleeping mail, why the bleep did you give it to him so he could... No, it went to a different address. He shipped it. He had it shipped to a different address. So his... Oh, parents wouldn't find out. It's like sneaking alcohol and going out to the park in the middle of the night. And apparently that is now the FDA's purview is to babysit your children because so, you're a bleeping moron. So what happened was this company, she contacted the company and the company said, we are really sorry. We will block his name, um, the the father's name, and your name from, from being able to order. And but, she says that that wasn't sufficient enough. Oh my God. <laughs> so they're trying to help her so this can't happen again and she's saying no it, it, it it's not good enough what you bleeping kids <laughs> what is wrong with you you incompetent buffoon <laughs> so it's just like I, I, I came across this and I went you've got to be kidding me I mean, this is just like the the Facebook thing where they're trying to monitor, they're trying to overregulate, not let us have fun, so to speak, and take responsibility out of our own hands. 
Well, apparently, people are incapable of taking responsibility for anything. Whether it's raising their children or themselves or anything else, someone else has to do it. Which is why the nanny state is so popular. Oh, hey, no. Because they're like, I just don't want to do it anymore. Will you do it for me? Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Scroll down. There's one oh, more. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and so, this one is saying, this parent is saying that um, his his two kids, uh, teenagers, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> excuse me, ended up being uh, becoming addicted to, to vapes. Oh, okay. And so, the FDA needs to... Um, ban nicotine. I think the FDA needs to ban stupidity. <laughs> and you know what's going to happen then? We're going to have to get volunteer squads to go out and clean up the mess. Mm. Yep, we're going to have concentration camps for stupid people. <laughs> no. 99% of the country is going to go... Yes. <laughs> I, I'm going to stop going down that line right now because I'm all having right. all kinds of fun. All right, so... Yeah. We'll go through another one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh just my saying, goodness! Just saying. Uh, it's alien. It's not aliens. Yeah, I'm not saying it's morons, <laughs> but it's morons. So, so we have been talking uh, this week about Hurricane Florence. Yes. Okay. And for those of you who have family over there, for those of you who are our viewers, we wish you the best. Um, and and our prayers and thoughts are with you. Way to be depressing, Lois. On that note, however. This is one thing I did not realize. Oh. For those of you who know about Waffle House. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. This is good. Oh. And Gina says she needs to kick his butt and make him responsible. Yes. Obviously, that's not going to happen. It's already too late. And Gina also says, take control of your kids. <laughs> Pretty much. So, <laughs> going back to the Waffle House thing. I did not know this was a thing. And, um... And, and I studied emergency management. You have, and no, you have a degree I, I, I in do. emergency management. You didn't study and it. You have a degree <laughs> in emergency management. <laughs> but apparently there's some secret stuff going on behind the scenes. Right. And and <laughs> one of them, for those of you who know Waffle House, mm-hmm. it, it, it's, a. I mean, in all honesty, for, for their food, um, they're really cheap food, really good food. Uh, they they tend to be along the southern east and um, following the southern portion of the U.S. Okay. Um, Renee says, yum, Waffle House. However, I did not realize Waffle House, actually corporate Waffle House, has a storm center. And, <laughs> for and, their Waffle House. Uh, for their Waffle Houses. And what they do is they track storms to determine whether their stores, whether their restaurants need to close. And government agencies actually use what they have dubbed the Waffle House Index as to when (coughs) and if they need to be in a specific area. (laughs) The Waffle House is closed. Send in the brigades right now, man. What do you mean there? (coughs) Excuse me. But... There's other things that they do um, that they do with it, and and it also lets them know what businesses are are able to be open and and stuff like that. that but uh, they have dubbed it the Waffle House Index. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! Man. I, and I didn't even know about this going that's through those good. classes. It was like, oh my goodness! Yeah, if the Waffle House is down, obviously we've got a serious incident on our hands. Pretty much. But if they're still open, it could be bad, but eh, it'll be all right. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So, so, yeah, I came across that yesterday, and I went, no, this has got to be a joke. And I looked it up, and it's not. Oh. It is a real thing. Waffle House has a storm center, mm-hmm. and the government uses it to, you know, let, among other things, um, determine where they need to be as well. That's pretty funny. And I just went, no. <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah, it's innovative. It, it, it is very innovative, and I think it's great. It just, it, just the Waffle House Index, it just... <laughs> That's pretty funny. It, I, I it's just, definitely unique. I'll, I'll give them that. It, yes, yes, <clears throat> definitely unique. <laughs> so what do you see on here? I, I'm going to go with this one here. That looks fairly interesting. 
Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, so this goes back to the whole taking responsibility for your own stupidity. <laughs> oh, okay, so... It, uh, I, it involves no, the FDA no. again. <laughs> Hold on. I, I'm going to have to qualify this here. So, um, you know, in everyday life, no matter what you have in your house or when you go shopping, there's usually an inundation of miscellaneous warning labels on everything. Yes. Warning labels for everything. And the thing is, those warning labels would not be there unless it had happened so that now they have to put the warning label on there. Because Pretty much. Because people are idiots. So... <clears throat> Hold on, before you oh, continue, uh, um, Dave says the Supreme Overlord supports Waffle House Index. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, the FDA has issued a new warning because, yet again... People have proved their level of stupidity is is only exceeded by wait nothing. <laughs> that's I just I mean that's that's literally what this boils down to. No pun intended. Oh, so no. the FDA has issued a warning about consuming liquid nitrogen. For those of you that don't know, liquid nitrogen is very 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 cold and they use it to flash freeze all kinds of things they use it for for cooling in some kinds of superconductors all kinds of things like that you have to have special equipment just to be able to handle the stuff there's special there's special thermoses i mean the whole nine yards this stuff is not a toy unless you know what you're doing eating it is most certainly not recommended similar to you know eating a charcoal briquette that is lit on the opposite side, probably not a good idea. Because you might burn your mouth. So this one, is, you know, it's, it's very cold. <laughs> so, a popular snack trend at malls and fairs across the country can cause damage to your skin and internal organs, according to a safety alert from the Food and Drug Administration. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You okay there? No. All right, so the government agency is alerting parents and children about the possible side effects of products like Dragon's Breath, Heaven's Breath, or Nitro Puff. The often fruity and colorful snacks look like oversized pieces of cereal, but liquid nitrogen added to the products at the point of sale allows people to blow out smoke as if they were dragons when they eat the product. You gotta wait till it warms back up a little, people. It's like, it, but that's the draw, though. Ugh. Is is like when you go out on a cold day, yes. and you and you see the steam, right? Right. But that that is what the draw is. What? Right. And, and so wait. parents are upset because their children have been hurt. That's on you because you should know better. You remember a Christmas uh, story? Um, you know when the kid sticks his tongue to the pole? <laughs> this is literally. A thousand <laughs> times colder than that. Let's see, Renee says Tide Pods just got made into popsicles. Yeah. Somewhere in the world, I guarantee... You know what? We're going to have to look that up now. Oh, ah, ah. Did you just drop your phone? Yes, I did. Oh, jeez, Lois. With no case. Yeah. Naked yeah. phone down. Naked phone down. <laughs> yes, she's totally right. Tide Pods oh. have just been frozen oh, somewhere and someone is eating them. <gasps> So, so uh, people have obviously have been getting really, really injured with this. Obviously. And a lot of them are the little kids. Because their parents are idiots. Pretty much. And it's like, uh, what are you doing? And I guarantee you there is a warning on said booths that sell this stuff that says you have to wait a little bit before you eat it. Because they know. I guarantee it. I, I don't know. I haven't seen them. But, uh, yeah, it just... I came across this and I went, what? what? Yeah, it's like the Christmas what, story what? with your tongue sticking to a pole, except a thousand times worse. You know what they should do is take these people's heads and dip that in liquid nitrogen and solve the problem. <laughs> Breathe deeply. <laughs> Breathe <No>. deeply. <laughs> I just, I, I couldn't. I, and they look like um, puffed up tricks. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, the, the little trick cereal bits. And um, 
And yeah, they you they can't have those freeze. tricks are for kids, silly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I am not a rabbit. <laughs> Holy hell! Yes. So so yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, dip your dip your head in. <laughs> Breathe deeply. Don't eat liquid nitrogen. <laughs> wow. Oh, I was meaning go to the next one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just looking to see if we. I mean, what level of idiocy can can we get going on here? Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's lawsuits because it's a fan. I just okay, oh, I'm done. this one is actually this one will remind people of a of a lawsuit. So, oh, several years ago. All right, so there are already two lawsuits involving this fed. A California man claims he suffered burns to his inner thighs when he placed a cup of dragon's breath between his legs. He's suing the company that sold him the product. Now, you know what? On that one, I guess I can't blame him too much. Maybe they should have it in an insulated cup. I don't know. Remind you of a lawsuit? Yeah, the coffee one from McDonald's. Yep. I, I just can't. Renee says it's a new thing at county and state fairs. Yes, yeah. it is. Well, just remember to wait until it thaws out slightly before sticking it in your mouth. Right? Yeah, no kidding. So, <laughs> so, oh man. Oh. Yeah, and this, this is a here, here's here's one of those obvious statements of <laughs> it says anyone who is injured while eating products with liquid nitrogen should see a doctor right away. Well, you're going to be in agony anyway, so yeah, you're probably going to go to the doctor. <laughs> And it says, uh, frozen brain cells. I just saw a video of a youngin trying to put cash in the gas pump to get gas. Couldn't figure it out. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh, my goodness. There is no hope for humanity. <laughs> All right. We are screwed. Let's go to the... <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I just... Nope. Oh, hey, there we go. Let's do that one. (laughs) I saw this one yesterday, and I've actually seen it several times since. And I'm not saying it's aliens, but (laughs) it's aliens. (laughs) So, uh, if you guys haven't seen this, I'm sure it'll pop across your feed at some point, because it's kind of going off the hook. Especially now, after we're talking talking about it. Well, I know, but I've I've already seen it on Facebook. Uh, Yeah. On several different things. So... There is an observatory in uh, New Mexico that, uh, that, I'll just read the headline. <laughs> yeah. Mysterious observatory evacuation stirs alien conspiracy theories. The FBI showed up and evacuated the remote sunspot solar observatory in southern New Mexico. Almost a week later, no one knows why. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. And so, you know, obviously at face value, it's like, what in what on earth is going on? An observatory? What? They evacuated it. You know, calls have been put into the FBI, into various things, and nobody's saying nothing. Nope. Nobody knows what's going on, but it's a, it's a week and, later. It's still evacuated, and everyone's like, what's going on? <laughs> and, and reports are saying it just wasn't... You know, regular FBI show up in in black vehicles. No, they like showed up with right a black the, hawk. Yeah, and a hell of, yeah, black hawk <laughs> helicopter. They stormed the joint, got everybody out of the place a week ago, and then nobody Nothing. knows what's going on. <laughs> and and yeah, I, it, they yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and so so like I said, at face value, it's like, what on <laughs> earth is going on here? I'm not saying it's aliens, but. <laughs> you need to fluff your hair I now that you can. <laughs> there there you go. All right. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. Oh. So yeah, um, you know, like I said, uh, you know, at face value, it's like, what is going on? But if you actually dig into a little bit, it almost kind of makes a little more sense. Yeah. But we still don't know. So no. apparently, this observatory at one point in the past was actually owned, operated, and everything by the military and the government because it's next to White Sands, New Mexico uh, missile range. Right. And so the military had it and, you know, and the government had it and, it and it's right there next to a missile range. So my guess is probably somebody was doing something. Yeah. That's probably, <laughs> probably somebody was doing something they shouldn't be with, you know, next to the missile range. But either way, it's still a little fishy. It is. It is. It's aliens, man. <laughs> it's aliens. <laughs> oh, so um, your 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 
there, uh, let's see, go back to the, the thingy. Um, what else would you like to, uh... Diana says, they found the ramen noodles? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you got there, Lewis? Uh, we got a few things. You can scroll up, you can uh, scroll down. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, this one looks fun. What's this? What do we got here? Oh, remember we were talking, I think it was last week. Oh, oh, there's, oh, oh. Ah, yeah. make it stop. It, what on earth? Video. We were talking last week about the chickens, or oh, the week before, about chickens and how, you know, you were giggling at me because when I first um, got around them, I didn't know how to oh, handle them. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the only one. This is full video of chickens attacking people. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it we want to show this off here? Yes. <laughs> so, so chickens attack. When chickens when attack. Chickens attack. Now, granted, some you know, of them are roosters, which is a completely different thing. Well, depending um, on how they're raised, they can be nice or mean. You never know. I've had both. But, um, but yeah, and we don't have to play the full video. It's over three minutes long. Um, but there are instances where chickens attack, man. <laughs> Like this instance right here. So what you're telling me is the Discovery Channel needs, you know, they have Shark Week. Now we need Chicken Week. Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's when chickens attack. Pretty much. <laughs> They're just following them having a good time. What are you talking about? I realize. <laughs> and he's having a good time. Yeah, that's cute. And there oh, you go. Oh. Well, that's a rooster. It man. is a rooster. Those things are vicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, rooster. Yep, that's a rooster. <laughs> when chickens attack. There you go. That's not a rooster. Actually, I, that might be a rooster. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's one of those fluff chickens. I'm not, I'm not sure how to tell on those ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, another rooster. Run for your life. <laughs> Oh, no, those are not roosters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, run for it, man, run! Oh, rooster again. <laughs> rooster again. It's like, hi. Oh, yep, see, he's trying to, you know, he's got those little talons he's trying to dig into. Him. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a rooster. Uh, yeah. anyway. Oh, stupid ads. Yeah, well, we'll call that good then. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Diana says Chick Fil A chickens fight back, eat more beef. <laughs> <laughs> well, like the cows are always right. Uh, yes, eat more chicken. chickens are like eat more then. <laughs> <laughs> so let's pull up another one. Uh, pretty funny. I like it. Oh my goodness! All right, what else we got there, Lois? All right, so you did that one. Um, do 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 do. <laughs> We have so many. Oh, we do. We do. Um, um, I guess, I don't know. What, what's that, this? No, 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 not with your mood. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fine. At, fine. at least I know how to get <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll pick something then. So, um, you waiting there, Lois. Come on. All right, scroll down. No. Let's scroll down. All right. All right. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> that one? <laughs> yep. All right. It's because nobody knows what's going on, Lois. You're just laughing. Randomly and pointing to where they so can't So, what does my note say? I, had, I don't know. I didn't what read did? it. Your note says, not what 911 is for. <laughs> oh, no. boy. Yeah. Our, our, our men and women in blue. Oh, um, my. Oh. They have enough problems. I'm telling you, dip it in liquid <laughs> nitrogen and bury it. Oh, and I'm talking about their heads. I just... So this is definitely not what 911 is for. No. I don't even know what to, It's like... What? You know, I have... I've seen a lot of these come across, you know, where people call 911 for stupid reasons. But this one's getting up there in the... It, it is pretty much... <laughs> so I'll go ahead and read the headline here. Customer calls 911 to report Lakewood Burger King wouldn't honor his free Whopper coupon. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Not what it's for, kids. You, sir, <laughs> need to dunk your head in liquid nitrogen. <laughs> It says a customer. How do you know it's a kid? No, I'm just saying in general. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not She's what 911 is for. At this point, I don't know, man. You call 911 to report that. Oh. <laughs> That's what managers oh. are for. <laughs> oh, 
Oh and that's my. what reading the fine print is for. <laughs> wow. I would so... Did, <laughs> did he get charged with anything? Um, that I don't know because I couldn't just I I couldn't stop laughing at the headline. I I couldn't read the article. <laughs> so so uh, let's let's take a poll real quick. If you're out there at a Burger King and they don't honor their coupon or they mess up your order, should we call nine one one? Is that what we do? <laughs> I mean I don't know honestly. I mean apparently it's something that someone they think that's okay. No. Uh, <laughs> it's not okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, so, man. oh, I like the little sub uh, sub headline here. If he had it his way, he would have been eating two burgers for the price of one. Because you know Burger King, have it your way. Yep. Uh -huh. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just pulled something. Oh, You're not yeah, supposed that's awesome. to do that. <laughs> that is amazing. So they have what? Oh, oh no, 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 right, no. Fine. I was. Uh, no, you were going to say? No, I was just going to look at the uh, rest of the article. But so, go ahead and go to something go else. To the, oh, Lord. Oh, boy. That, that's that's the note on that one is, oh, Lord. Oh, yes. I think this this event would have driven me nuts, too. What? Um, what? What is that? What? <laughs> uh, now, I'm, I'm, con I'm confused. So, the headline is, Ipswich Woman Terrified by Nursery Rhyme Alarm. So you want to explain that, Lois? Because yes. I'm a little lost here. So there was a a, a, um, a CCTV system put into an apartment. Okay. Um, and along with it, it there there was a motion sensor that would trigger an alarm that instead of the the ear piercing screeches so instead of beep 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 it did something yes. else oh it, it played it's raining it's pouring it's raining it's pouring yes that would be kind of creepy especially in the middle of the night <laughs> who's brilliant I know what I, this is somebody that I would like to hire to do my security systems if I didn't do them myself <laughs> That is amazing. I mean, that can you imagine the level of creep outness? I, I mean, that's I would awesome. Freak out. <laughs> and this you move into a room. It's raining. It's pouring. Uh, this, what the heck is going on? Well, the thing is, is this wasn't experienced by anyone living in the house. Okay, it was experienced by the neighbors. <laughs> So the volume was really loud. No one knew where it was coming from. This poor woman was right next to it. And so at different times, was it was going off. Well, that's <laughs> and, epic. And that no one knew epic. exactly what it was. Oh. So, <laughs> and, and it went on. For, for quite some time. So so basically, it's like a house alarm kind of thing where you normally, you know, in the, or like a business alarm where you hear the, the, the alarm going off and it's that... Oh, right. Woo, you know, and, the whole but this was motion censored and once the motion stopped, it would stop. It would, it would stop. stop. And then you move again and it would do it again? No, oh, yes. That's a, there's... Man. Oh, I could... Like, what if we did it with, like, Saw? So you oh. want to play a game. Oh, good lord. <laughs> now, what makes this even better is... There was one thing that was triggering this, okay, and it was off the the camera for the um for the system. Yeah, okay, it was a spider. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> so every time the spider would move in, it would in set the camera the sensor, it would set oh, off that's the alarm. Epic, man. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that is like yeah, there's so many things. You know what? I never. It seems so obvious to me now. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? You know, it's one of those like, oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> I mean, come on, because everybody, you know, you hear an alarm, everyone just tunes it out and ignores right. it. Right. But if the thing starts singing to you in creepy voices or saying some creepy stuff, people are going to lose it. They're like, ah! <laughs> Excuse me. So, so the, I owner, like I like the owner of the house and the company came in and adjusted the volume down because obviously it was way too loud. <laughs> Now the neighbors aren't hearing it, but they are now pretty much terrified of this song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. 
So Dave, oh. uh, talking about the uh, Burger King thing. Oh yeah. Um, Dave says some places do find you for misappropriation of yes, emergency definitely. services. Yes, they that do. would definitely fall into that category. No kidding. And <laughs> and it said Dave is saying the itsy bitsy spider went up. <laughs> Can you imagine if that would have been that would have been even funnier? Oh, that would have. But yeah, you know, I, I think you you know program it for all kinds of creepy stuff, man. <laughs> It'd be fun. Oh my goodness! Well, hello. Uh, no, uh, uh, uh. that's a Halloween thing. I it know. It really is. It's awesome. Itsy bitsy. <laughs> itsy bitsy so, spider. And you know you got to record it in a creepy voice. Although doing it in children's voices. It, that could that, be even creepier. That's a level of creepy that's just beyond, yeah. and, I, and I don't know why. I, I, I just, it, yeah. it's so weird. Um, <laughs> it's that normalcy in a, in a horrifying yeah. environment. It's like, I, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, this would this would definitely drive me nuts. And and the funny thing is, is about this article, it was done by the BBC. Mm-hmm. So you know that. Well, I'm going with Ipswich, so yeah. <laughs> uh, no, the article was done by the BBC. I know, but Ipswich is... <laughs> right, but there are other... Never mind. Right, right, right. Anyway, so whoever wrote this article is having a really good time okay. and adding the nursery rhymes into into the, the story itself. <laughs> um, excuse me. Uh, like, it would go off when, when people were sleeping, and because it was it's raining, it's pouring, they added things like... It woke her from snoring. <laughs> <laughs> so he had a little, little, yeah. little poetic license in there. That's good. I like that. So That's good. This, this one would definitely freak me out if just randomly, especially at night, I, I hear, I would hear that going off. I know what I'm doing for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thanks. <laughs> what? What? Oh, what? my goodness. I am changing every alarm sound I own as we speak, says <laughs> Dave. Good on you, Dave. I was going to say, you know, I, I know you you, you have uh, some computer stuff and some alarm stuff. You may want to consider this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is revolutionary. That's epic. Oh. Yeah, that is so, that is friggin' hilarious. So I think that's uh, almost about as much time as we have left here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and pull up. Oh, look, my head's in the way again. Here. (laughs) (laughs) So, LPN and the premium shirt. Help support your local news station. And LPN and the shirt. That is uh, all we have time for uh, this morning. We do appreciate you guys uh, liking, commenting, and sharing on all these posts and being a part of the network. We hope you have an amazing day and we'll most likely see you for the nightly news tonight. (laughs) <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Who's ready for some Rupert? I am. <laughs> Rupert! Bye, guys. <laughs> See you later.